babes, what's up? We are back with another video and today we have Artist Couture. Yes, he came out with this Caliente collection, okay? Some fire, fire, Caliente stuff we got going on right here. We got some glosses, we got the patle, okay guys? So if you want to see how I created this look, you have to keep on watching. And I also have this baby from Huda Beauty. This is the Neon Pink Patle. And if you want to see if the shades are the same, if you have this baby, you might not need the other one. Keep on watching. Also, guys, I would love for you to stay. Please subscribe down below and ring the little bell so you don't miss any of my daily updates. Mwah. First, we're gonna go with our blending brush and the color Cultura which is the yellow right here, okay? And that's gonna be a transition color. We are gonna apply that all over our crease. This yellow, guys, it is not a strong yellow. It is actually really, really light, really soft. It barely have pigment. Okay, so don't worry, don't be scared when you see, oh my god, the yellow, no, 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 no. Blend it all in your crease. Now we're gonna go in with the color, color Vibras. Okay, this is the purple of the palette. And we are gonna apply this color right on top of the yellow that we just applied but we're not going to bring it all the way to the top, okay? I applied the yellow almost right there, like literally on my brow bone. Starting from the outer V and bring it whatever is left on the brush to our crease. Okay. So you see how you see the yellow right there on the brow bone a little bit and then the pink, the purple. But don't worry if you take some of the yellow, which guys, the yellow is super light, like, oh, not for nothing, but I wish like the yellow was a little bit more pigment. Okay, so we're gonna leave it right there. Now I'm gonna grab my little small blending brush, any small little tiny brush that you have like this. And I'm gonna grab the shade Mamacita. I love the, the names that he came up with. Okay, so with Mamacita, we this is like a wine, burgundy, plump, okay, color. We are gonna grab a punch. We're gonna place it right here on the outer V. Okay, grab a little more with the tip of the brush and we're gonna start right here on the crease with the eye open. We're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But okay, so now we're gonna go in with my packing brush and I'm gonna be grabbing the first uh, purple that we use which is called Vibras, okay? This one. And with my packing brush, so we get a little bit more pigment. I'm going to apply that right here. On my inner corner, on my lip. Just like that. I'm not going to bring it all the way in their tear duct because I'm going to apply only shimmer in there. So now going back with Mamacita is the other purple, wine, burgundy, whatever you want to call it. And I'm using the other side of my packing brush. This shade have a little bit of glitter, but, and it's a little bit weird, the formula, but I will talk about it at the end of my video. Like, they're even hard to pick up with a packing brush, but okay. Let's just work with what we have. Okay, I'm trying to apply this with the tip of my brush really tight on by my lashes. 
And I'm gonna bring this shade right here on my other bead. Perfect. So now I'm gonna grab my little inner corner brush. Okay. First, I'm gonna go in with my brush dry and I'm gonna go in with the shade Brillo. Okay. The light shimmery shade. And I'm only gonna place this on my tear duct. Okay. And I'm gonna be bringing it in a little bit. Right here with the tip of my brush. I'm bringing this shade, the glitter, a little bit from my tear duct to about right here. Okay. I'm gonna go in with my packing brush and I'm still playing with the same brillo shade. And I'm gonna place it right on top of this purple. This is a really, really, guys, light shimmer. Like, you can barely, barely see it. Wet my brush. Okay. Always tap it, guys, in the back of your hand so it's not soaking wet. We're gonna intensify the tear duct. Perfect. This is the brush. This is my Sonia G Flat Definer. This is the brush that I use for my lower lash and oh, this brush is divine, okay? And I'm gonna go in with Mamacita, this shade right here, okay? And that's gonna be one of the shades that I'm gonna be using for my um, lower lash. So I'm, I'm cleaning my brush and I'm going in with Cultura. It is the yellow, okay? And with the little side of my brush, okay, like that, I'm going to grab the yellow shade, Cultura, and I'm gonna place it right here at the bottom of the color Mamacita. I'm packing a punch and I'm only going at the edge of where this purple is ending. And I'm dragging that yellow all on my um, outer bead, right there, okay? Now I'm gonna bring this yellow right here by my Bravo, okay? And for this part, I am using my whole brush, okay? And I'm not really doing so much blending because I don't want to blend the yellow away. Okay. If you feel like you need a little bit more of the yellow at the bottom of your lower lash, always apply whatever you want, whatever you need. And guys, we are done. Let me apply a little bit of mascara. You apply lashes if you like. And I'll be back. guys so this yellow it's the one from Maris Couture okay it's that yellow in the palette called Cultura okay this one is the one from the Huda Beauty palette okay in my opinion the one from this palette Huda Beauty it's a little bit more pigment than the one from Maris Couture this one is the orange in Aris Couture Spotlight. Uh, Fuego. Okay. This one is the one from Huda Beauty. In my opinion, the one from Aris Couture. This one, it's a little bit more darker than the one from Huda Beauty. And this one is the purple from the Aris Couture Spotlight. Okay. Co vibras okay and this one is the one from huda beauty's neon pink palette okay that purple and that palette now this one okay it's the orange it's a shimmery orange from the artist couture palette and I have this one from the Huda Beauty palette that to be honest with you, they look almost identical. 
Guys, all the swatches to me, they look the same, okay? okay guys, this is the two palettes side to side. And please, if you really appreciate the colors, they look almost the same to me, okay? Okay, babe. So now we're gonna try this baby. Okay, this is the lipstick. Okay, I only picked up one, guys, because I don't know. I didn't like the color of the other one. Okay, so the one that I picked up it's Peep Show. It's the lightest one of the two of them. And wow, it didn't look like this in the picture, guys. Look, this is pretty. Ah, I hope we like it. Look how cute. That's so pretty. Okay, I like it. Okay, peep show. Let's see how the applicator looks. Ah. Okay, guys, I have this kind of applicator that I am not a big fan of it. Okay, but what can we do? okay so let me let's try this baby let's see how it's applied if it's sticky or not i mean i love that sound okay So this guys, this applicator is kind of like, like, fl like f fluffy, like it moves. When you're applying it on your lips, it's moving. It's not one of those hard applicators. Let me see if you go, you see? It's not those hard applicators. It bounces. that's the word I was looking for. Let's apply a little more. I don't know why I have the feeling that it's sticky. Okay, wait. I'm not judging yet. I mean, it's nice because it goes really well on the edge of your lips. Okay. I like the shape. Mm. The lips with the eyes, they look on point. I like them. Okay. It is a little bit sticky, okay? It's a little bit tacky. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, not not so much sticky because it's wearable okay you could wear them but if you have like the little skin on your lips and your lips are dry and you got you like this is one of the lip tips that you have to make sure you exfoliate your lips before you apply them because it will you see that it will pick up any skin you have and like that one Okay, guys, um, I don't know. I don't know. Now, talking about this baby, I really like this palette, okay, and I enjoy playing with it. What I really wanted to do with this baby was what I had in my mind, it was like a yellow kind of look, you know, something with the yellow, okay, and disappoint okay it disappointed me because the yellow really have no pigment guys it's one of the lightest shade i think the lightest shade in the palette is the yellow and why is that i don't know i don't understand because to be honest with you if you are gonna put a yellow it's a really hard color to to do okay and if you are gonna have a yellow in your palette, please make sure it have a lot of pigmentation that you don't have to you know struggle with it there's only there's only a few yellows out there that they are really pigmented and that they are worth you know your time 
But okay, besides that guys, I am the formulation of this palette. It is a little bit weird, okay? Um, I love guys the Artist Couture palette, the Supreme palette. Oh gosh, I love that palette so much, okay? Like I must have created maybe like I don't know how many looks with that palette, maybe like 10 looks with that palette, green, brown, everything. I already tried all the shades in the palette, I already mixed them all, I used them all by itself in my eyes, everything with the palette. The formulation of those shades, the creaminess of the shades, the shimmer of the other palette, the Supreme palette, they are just stunning. Okay, they're beautiful. They are like you. It makes you want to play with it. It makes you want to just slide a whole one of the whole shimmer on your eye because it's they're yummy, like they're creamy and they're good. They're good formulas. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm so glad that I have the other Supreme palette. This formula, it's not the same formula as his Supreme palette, guys. This shade right here, Vibras and Mamacita. Okay. They feel sunny. Weird. I don't know. You touch it and they don't feel like a soft matte. And you feel like like particles of I don't know what it is. They feel sunny, okay? And I don't know why will he do that. And same thing with Roomba. Roomba feels sunny, okay? Really the only shades that they don't feel sunny to me is Cultura and sensual all the other shades this glitters the shimmers which is brillo rumba and mangori mangarita it only have three shimmers in the palette okay those shimmers they're supposed to be creamy like i will enjoy way more if there were some creamy imagine this orange and those shades with a, like a creamy formula beautiful okay but they're not creamy guys they're sunny and I, I don't know i'm just not a big fan of the formula and yes i love the look that i have right now i love pinks i love the shades okay this is totally summer vibe and i like the packaging the packaging is the same packaging as the other of the supreme palette it's just smaller okay and guys i already compare with this baby as soon as not online okay but as soon as i opened up this baby when i got it in my hands as soon as i opened it up it reminded me of this all the yellows and all the orange and the purple everything is just look the same okay the only thing is that the one right here from huda beauty the neon okay it has three glitters okay and this is not really shimmer they're more like um yeah, they are pressed glitters, okay? These three babies right here, here, they are pressed glitters. And the other one, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's... They're shimmer, but they're not creamy, and they're not pressed grimmers. They're not pressed glitters, and this just feels sunny, okay? Sunny, like... No. So, really, guys, if I would have knew that this was going to be really like this one... I don't think I need this. I think I can create this look that I have right here. I can perfectly, perfectly do it with this neon from Huda Beauty. Cause I, you only use the purple and the pink, a little bit of the yellow, and I could just place some of this shimmer on my tear duct. And that's about it. Same look that I have right now, I could have created with this palette, but it's up to you. If you wanna buy it, guys, I'm always gonna give you my honest opinion. If I like a product, I will tell you, I will give you totally all my credits, okay? I will give credit with credits due, but if I'm not a big fan of it, you will know, okay? Because I'm going to let you know. So guys, it's not terrible, terrible, terrible neither, but I'm just not a big fan of it. It's not something that I needed in my collection. It's not something that I'm going to be playing with it. Um, I think when I want to do a look like this, I'm going to lean more towards this one. Now guys, this one, it is currently out of stock at Sephora. Okay, this baby goes for $29 and this one goes for $30. Really, the difference is just $1. Nothing really different. But you do have um, in the Huda Beauty pen, okay, you have nine shades, okay? And on the one from 
on the one from Artist Couture, you have A. Okay, so have that in mind. You have one more shade in the Huda Beauty than here, and the Huda Beauty, it is $1 less than the one from Artist Couture. I don't know what was that about. And now, guys, the lip gloss, beautiful shade, beautiful shade. I just wish that it wasn't so tacky and so sticky. Um, it doesn't have no smell. It doesn't really have no smell, and I don't taste, I don't smell anything on my lips. The only thing that I feel is the tackiness. But all right, guys, we already done with this review. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being here with me, for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe down below. I would love for you to stay, and I would love for you to be with me because I want to be with you. And ring the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I have videos upcoming every day back to back. And I won't want you to miss them. And um, I love you guys. See you on the next one.